Low vision affects an estimated 12 million people 40 years and older in the United States. This is often caused due to issues such as muscular degeneration, glaucoma, retinous pigmentosa, and diabetes-related eye diseases. These visual impairments can have a big effect on people's everyday lives, but with developing technology, there are new ways to help with these eyesight problems. These innovations are able to help people with vision problems perceive their environments better and, overall, live more of an independent life. In today's video, we will be going over some of these life-changing technologies for the visually impaired. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. To start off this list of technologies, we have OrCam My Eye Pro. In order for blind people to interpret the world around them, they must use all of their senses, most importantly, sound. They use their sense of sound to create mental images with what they hear going on around them. This is the assumption that OrCam My Eye Pro is based on. This cutting edge technology helps those who are completely blind make sense of the visual world by describing what they can't see. A wireless smart camera that's about the size of an index finger attaches with a magnet to the arm of any eyeglasses. When you point your finger and tap on the touch bar, the camera will capture an image of what's in front of you. It will then read aloud the information into a tiny speaker that rests above the ear. People can teach the OrCam to memorize and identify tons of everyday objects. From logos on buildings to items on a fridge, the device is always scanning your surroundings and is waiting for you to point to to whatever you want, then gives you your information. It can even be programmed to remember faces. All you have to do is take a picture of a person's face and it is automatically stored within the device. Whenever the camera spots the person, it will identify him or her by name. This device also responds to voice commands, such as reading from a digital or printed surface. For example, if you open a newspaper and say, read the football article, it will do just that. Or you can pick up an envelope, have OrCam's camera take a picture, and then it will tell you where the mail is from. As a matter of fact, the device can even read through an entire bill and quickly respond to a question such as, how much do I owe? OrCam My Eye Pro costs a bit over $4,000 but it more importantly makes life easier and more enjoyable for those who have eyesight problems. Next up, we have WeWalk. WeWalk is a sort of cane, but more technologically advanced than just the average white cane, which is what some blind people use. Some may say that the white cane is invaluable for navigating the world, which leads many to believe that WeWalk is the better option for those who can navigate the world on their own. Not to mention this innovative smart cane comes with a touchpad and a speaker. This advanced cane uses taps to provide information to the user. These taps help the person to detect obstacles, know when they've hit a curb, come to stairs, or when there's someone standing in front of him. WeWalk alarms the user with a vibration whenever it detects an obstacle. It can even detect objects that are above chest level, such as tree branches, telephone poles, and traffic signs. Another great aspect of this smart cane is that it's very efficient. Most people who walk with a white cane also carry a GPS in the other hand, but walking with a white cane in one hand and with a smartphone in the other can be a difficult task. The WeWalk smart cane can wirelessly connect to the smartphone, so users can keep their phone in their pocket while walking, leaving one hand free. This allows them to pay full attention to what's going on around them. Users can also use the Cane's touchpad to access the multiple features it offers. One of these features include connecting with public transportation. For example, if you're walking to a bus stop, it will tell you the number of the bus that's coming, as well as when it is coming. All in all, WeWalk is another great innovation for those who are blind and need assistance with walking. The next technology device we'll be talking about is eSight. If you thought that the last item was technologically advanced, wait until you see this one. At first, eSight may seem something like straight out of Star Trek. This device is a sleek wraparound headset that's essentially a special kind of electronic eyeglasses that provide enhanced vision for people who are legally blind or have low vision. Some have even seen their visual sharpness go from 2600 to 2020. Even those who are legally blind still retain limited eyesight, which is often concentrated in their peripheral vision. eSight enhances the functions of these parts of the eye that are still working to make up for the parts that aren't. This piece of technology is a head-mounted display and houses a small camera that captures everything that the wearer is looking at in live footage. The device's algorithms enhance the footage before displaying it on two high-resolution screens in real time. eSight also comes with a remote control on the side of the headset, which allows the user to make adjustments such as brightness, contrast, and sharpness to enhance the quality of the image that he or she is seeing. Users can autofocus on different distances, such as short, like words on a menu, medium, such as words on the computer screen, and far to get a good view of what's on stage at a concert. The biopic tilt is one feature that lets users adjust the device to flip it up or down to move between enhanced and natural vision. Another thing this device can do is allow you to see what's on your smartphone. You can stream content from your phone or TV directly to the screen in front of your eyes. People can even send you pictures to the glasses and you'll be able to view them. Fourth on this list of devices is APH's Mantis Q40. This is a Bluetooth QWERTY keyboard that includes a refreshable braille display. This frees users who are blind or visually impaired from having to choose between a traditional keyboard or braille device. Instead, as they type, the braille display on the bottom shows written information to someone else who may be 
reading the screen and also speaks descriptions aloud to the user. The device can connect up to five different gadgets at once through Bluetooth and includes one USB connection. It works with Mac, PC, and iOS devices, with Android and Chromebook coming soon. This next device isn't a physical object, but rather an app. This app is called Seeing AI and is developed by Microsoft. It is designed to help people who are blind or have low vision. It enhances the world around the user with great audio descriptions. It can also read a handwritten note or scan a barcode and then tell the user what the product is. If you point a camera at something, then the app will describe how many people it can see and where they are in the image, whether it be at the top, middle, or bottom of somewhere else. For people who don't have eye issues, it can be very easy to take in detail of their surrounding environment. But the same cannot be said for people who deal with sight problems. Seeing AI replicates the behavior of taking in details. It does this by building a detailed audio map that creates what's taking place around a person with visual impairment. It creates layers of context and detail by drawing on location data, sound beacons, and synthesized 3D stereo sound to build a constantly updating 3D sound map of the surrounding world. The last technology device we'll be talking about is a mini cheetah. This device, or as many say, robot, is sort of like a guide dog but much more advanced. This device is a four-legged robotic guide dog system that can safely lead blind people around obstacles and through narrow passages. To save on the time and effort required to train a guide dog, scientists have come up with a new idea and created a robotic alternative. It's powered by a laser ranging system to map out its surrounding and a camera to track the human it's guiding. Just like a real assistance canine, the mini cheetah guides its users through the use of a leash, which can be pulled tightly or can go looser in order to better lead around tight turns. While this device has not yet been released for public use, it has been tested. The people who came up with and designed the mini cheetah, Zhang Yu Li, and his colleagues have successfully tested the mechanism of the robots with three blindfolded people. These blindfolded people went around an obstacle path, which included enclosed narrow sections that were less than a meter wide. Even with tight spaces, the robot dog was able to guide the people through the path. So while this device may not be out yet, it's still a great one to look out for in the future. With that said, that's going to wrap up this video. Thanks for watching!